So the first technique, uh, Julie mentioned it, harvest at night, you want to get your fruit uh, cold. We uh, also do some mechanical harvest at Chandon. Actually, most of it is mechanical harvest. Why is because for sparkling, uh, the picking window is actually very short. So we only have like two to three days to get a block at the optimal um, uh, ripening level. So we need to go fast. In order to go fast, we're using um, uh, the mechanical harvest pick. And when it's really well done, we have really good results. So we only machine pick in the middle of the night when it's the coldest. Once we pick those grapes, they are rushed into the presses and they are pressed uh, very gently. So the direct and gentle pressing is very important. So we have pressing yield. We respect those yields. We don't extract too much because as you extract, then the phenolics come from. And I was telling you phenolics, I don't like it very much. Um, oxygen management uh, for the base wine. So I am not afraid of oxygen at all. I actually think that oxygen is my friend uh, because I don't like to add a fining agent. So oxygen, uh, by adding it in, into your, your, your juice, you're going to oxidize the uh, oxidable phenols. So they will, they will drop into your tanks. Once you've done an oxygen management, you want to make sure you clarify your juice really well. So you leave behind everything you've precipitated. Um, so for that, uh, we at, at Shandon, we're doing, um, fl uh, not flatulent, we're doing a flotation to, um, to clarify our wines because we, flotation gives us like a really precise turbidity range uh, that we want to achieve. Uh, so when it comes to uh, sparkling rosé, um, all, all the panel are going to talk to you about Seigneur. Uh, we do 